solid mate. It's a very effective wet fly on Corrib, Mask and elsewhere, but particularly on those two locks. So it's one of my favourite wet flies. I'll just call this a golden olive mate. There's quite a few materials in this. I hope I'm going to use for this as a Camasan B170. I'm going to use orange uni thread for this. I might have a little bit of orange on the head of this fly. So I'm just going to start the tie in well back from the eye. It's coming down. So under the tail on this I'm just going to put a bit of Glow Bright number 10 yellow. You can use green, you can use different colours. This is just quite bright. What I like to do with this is just any loose fibres. And then just tie in this and then cut the length that you require for the tail. So I'll just address this on top. It just gives it a nice bit of underbody. Hold it back down, holding these in place on top, like so. What I'll do then, I don't like to have it too much out here, so just a small little bit under the tail, like so. The tail on this is going to be cock pheasant. Maybe for a nice little bunch, four or five strands will do plenty. Just pinch off them so they have kind of uniform. It doesn't matter if they're displayed a little bit. Address these, probably have them twice the length the tail of the blow right. Just over on top and catch down. On top there, but not sure happy with those. For the body on this, I use raffia, just plain raffia. So I'll just catch this in. Underneath. Just the length of the body that you require, a couple of turns there. The rib, <coughs> I like to use copper wire. Just a strand of copper wire, just catch that in, and then just build the body back up. Back from the eye. Off the excess. And just flatten this down. Just gives the body a little bit of bulk, and you can now moisten the, the raffias with your finger and thumb, and then wind this up, touching turns, overlapping each turn, and just stop back. As I say, there's quite a bit of work to go in there, so don't overdo, <coughs> don't fill that up. There's a, quite a few materials in this. So what I'd like to use now is golden olive hackle for the body. This is just a parma body. I like to use these saddle hackles for these, they're nice and soft. So, just go on your little tying tip, and then catch it in with the shiny side facing you, so that the curve of the feather is going naturally back. Start it off with a couple of turns in there, two turns, and then 
wind it back down two three and another one right at the end here I'll catch that in with the rib run it up through three to four turns catch that in there Off and then just pull it off. <coughs> I'll cut this off because the copper wire is fairly thin, so I'll stroke these hackles back. Now, what I like to put in front of this is a nice, really hot orange hackle, not too much, just maybe one and a half turns. Just don't. Um, overdo it. It just gives it a nice little hot spot at the back. Again, cut off your, your small hackle and allow you a little tying in tip. Leave a few of the softer fibres. So we'll just catch it in. A couple of nice crisp turns. I'm stroking these back. Maybe one and a half turns. I don't like to um, overdo it. Just go back with that again for a minute. And just stroke these fibres. So we'll go top, front. It just gives it a hot spot. You don't need to big, big long hackles. And then stroking the fibres back, just like so. Now, in front of that, I like to use a bit of partridge. And there's some nice under the wing, under breast, you get these nice browny, grey brown feathers. This, this stuff is very, very soft, so you have to be gentle with it. <laughs> breaks quite easily but what I like to do is stroke these fibres back like so so that you've got that nice bit of colour address that in front just a little bit of wax just to crisp it down Push that forward. I'll come forward with that. You can pluck this out. Stroking these back again. Right up in front of the orange hackle, keeping tight to it. Again, don't over overdo it. One and a half turns is probably sufficient. Down on top. that off, stroke these fibres back, wind it back and tidy it up, you're going like so, it's pretty good. Uh, the front hackle on this is a French partridge, tied golden olive, so you stroke, pull off this flue, Two ways you can put this in, you can put it in like so at the front and use the hackle pliers to wind it around. I prefer to stroke the fibres back again and catch it in, just tidy everything up, just tidy it all up again just for a second. No, just come in there. Catch in this. Right in the V. And 
you can leave that in there if you like. It doesn't really matter. Or you can pluck it out. I prefer to leave it in. It just gives it a bit more bulk. So I'm stroking these fibres back. Just wind around. And again, giving it a nice... One more. And then just catch it right in there. Like so. Once you're happy with that, you can pull some of these fibres back and catch in a few more. There. Stroke everything back. Tidying up. As you go, cut this heavy stalk off. Don't try and pluck it off because it's it is quite um, quite heavy. And just pull the fly apart on it when you try to pluck those heavy fibres off. So what I do now is just tidy everything up. Making sure you hook on that side. And we'll give it a whip finish. Cut that off. A bit of wax just to seal the, seal that before you varnish it. Make sure everything is okay and you're happy with it. Nice bit of clear varnish over the hot orange. And that's the, as I call the golden olive mayfly. There's quite a bit of material in it, but it's 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 not too bad to tie. Thank you.